There was uh, this WHO report yesterday that actually took many by surprise that it's very rare to have an asymptomatic person pass on the disease. Does it go against what we thought in you? I don't know the answer to that, Francine. I actually read the um, press release from the WHO, and I do think that the not having or having some validity that the asymptomatic population does not transmit the disease is very important to the reopening process. What do we still not understand? I mean, we've had various reports from, you know, it, it's difficult, actually, if you're just a citizen trying to figure out what you need to do, how this virus evolves. Who should we listen to? You know, we were told not to wear masks and then to wear masks in certain places. What are you certain about that we need to do to, to make sure that we're safe? Francine, I always talk about a few simple things, and one of them is wearing the mask, social distancing, and sanitizing. We at Johns Hopkins are starting to reopen out for our outpatients on a more wider basis. And those are three of the topics that we actually have to be reviewed on. We actually had to sit down and speak with the staff about measuring out six feet apart so that we could really see social distancing for the importance that it was. Because one of the things that we have noticed is that the transmissions that we have seen among employees primarily are in situations where social distancing, like in a break room, may not be as strict as it is in another area. So we've really gone back to those basics of the masks, the social distancing, and the sanitizing. Would it be safe to send kids back to school this month if there was appropriate social distancing? I think children are, are sort of the, the, the variable in there. Um, it's, it's difficult for children sometimes to understand social distancing to the level that adults can understand it. So I, I don't know the answer to that question. I think there'd have to be a lot of work with early childhood educators about how you could get that message clear to children and how children could do that on a consistent basis.